Class 3B laser, aka cold laser or LLLT, for cervical arthritis. Now we're going to do the laser therapy. I've given my patient his pair of glasses, and now I'm going to be putting on my pair of glasses. These are special glasses that are designed to protect the eye from any laser escaping from the treatment and perhaps hitting something like a reflective surface and coming back to, the, to damage the eye. So here I'll put mine on. You can see how gorgeous one can look with glasses on. Thank you. Now I'm going to be doing the laser here. Arthritis was what we were treating, so I'm going to place it right where his arthritis of the neck is. Now you're going to see there's a lot of red coming out. When that happens, I want you to know that I have to keep a good surface contact because if I pull away again, it could come off. So here we go. I'm going to hit start there. Oh, it doesn't work. I have to use the start button on here. It says laser is armed. Laser will, will start in two seconds. Now it says laser is ready. Press the button on the applicator to begin. You can see the little yellow light there. So see the spillover? That's the LED. It has nothing to do actually with the laser itself. But it's a nice indicator to know that it's actually happening. Um, Again, if I'm doing things like uh, this area right here on the neck where it's a little bit could, could cross over, I'll just put my hands like this just to make sure that the patient's not in danger of having his eyes in contact with any of the laser. <clears throat> this goes pretty deep, and the theory behind laser is it can really much, pretty much treat chronic, acute, anything. Um, theories, uh, I don't think theories actually, I think science is now proving that it's the mitochondria that are being affected. There's an increased respiration of the mitochondria, which, well, we all know we need more of that, apparently. And the great thing is it actually can increase blood flow, it can, it can increase um, scar formation. There's been some wonderful studies using the cold laser, the LLOT, the 810 nanometers, on um, traumatic brain injuries. So, so far this has been counting down. We've got about 16 seconds to go, and it's a pretty fast treatment. I usually go for about three to four minutes. I'll do it in increments of one uh, minute, maybe just move around the area where the problem is. And let's just go ahead and let this finish out. <clears throat> and then come over here and you can see at the screen, um, it'll tell you laser is ready, press button, ready to go. But at the end of all the treatments, I like this because you can actually see what was the dosage that was delivered, what was the treatment time that was delivered, and you can uh, put this in the patient's records. Uh, this particular unit, by the way, is a Chattanooga, and there are such things as patient cards. So you can actually keep an electronic record. You insert it before you work with the patient. It's a pretty neat little um, tool to use. All right, thank you.